Hi, my name is Justin Hurdle, and I work at FCNL to help empower advocates across the country lobby for the change they seek. Um, and I'm Emily Wurzba. I lead the work at FCNL um, to advance climate change policy in Congress. We're here to invite you to join advocates across the country as part of FCNL's February of Action. We want you to visit your local offices of your members of Congress and act on the issues that are calling you to make a difference in the world you seek. That can be on issues of nuclear proliferation, it can be on issues of gun violence, Native American issues, but this month we want to shine a spotlight on an issue many of you are focusing on, addressing the climate crisis. So we have Emily here, she's going to talk a little bit about how FCNL is approaching this huge issue, and she's going to talk about how you can make a difference in your communities. Emily? Yeah, thanks Justin. Um, so we are facing a climate emergency. Um, communities across the U.S. and also across the world are already being harmed by the effects of climate change, and we believe we have a moral obligation um, to take action. We also know that we have a pretty short timeline in which we need to take action, and we're living currently uh, in a situation filled with polarizing partisanship and politics, and so um, it's, it's a tough time, but we need to act with urgency. We also firmly believe at FCNL that Congress and federal legislation to address climate change have to be part of the solution. Um, and we know that regardless of this year's election outcomes, having bipartisan support for climate action in Congress is critical if we want the legislation that passes to be long lasting and durable. Um, and that's why I'm so excited to talk to you about our carbon pricing work. So at FCNL, we are advocating for a just and equitable price on carbon. So what this would mean is that for um, every kind of ton of carbon dioxide or greenhouse gas emissions that are emitted, there would be polluters would have to pay a price, and this price would escalate. And what that does is it incentivizes clean energy in our economy, and it'll shift us away from fossil fuels towards cleaner energy sources. And this type of policy creates a lot of revenue that can be used to make sure that low-income communities, communities of color, and other vulnerable communities will not be harmed by this policy. Um, so what's really exciting is that we actually have seven carbon pricing bills in Congress right now, four of which have bipartisan support. Um, and so we're just thrilled at the momentum that this policy is, is generating, and we really believe that carbon pricing needs to be one of the tools that Congress uses to address climate change. It won't solve the problem alone, but it can be a really important piece of the solution that we actually think can get done pretty soon. Oh, that's great. Um, and before we jump into a couple questions I have for you, Emily, I just want to um, make sure people know that for this February of action that FCNL is really encouraging people to get out there, uh, we've worked hard to make it as easy as possible for you. We know everyone is busy. We know um, kids are going to school, uh, sports practices are going on. So we know that it can be difficult to make your voice heard in an effective way. So what I want you to do is take a look here, and we've set up a website, fcnl.org backslash act local, where you can act on issues like uh, climate change and carbon pricing, on nuclear weapons, on ending endless war, gun violence, any of the issues that FCNL is currently working on. We have up-to-date legislative asks that are ready to go, and we've made it easy so you can print those out and go to your local offices. So we're gonna ask a couple questions to Emily, but if you, are, you just can't wait, Go ahead, log on, and get active. But if you do want to know what's going on, here are a couple questions that we've heard from advocates um, in our network. So Emily, um, we've had people that are asking, I live in a place that my member of Congress is, isn't very good on climate issues. Um, what do you tell people when they want to know how to convince or make a better argument about why carbon pricing is the right solution? That's a great question. So. The vast majority of economists will say that a price on carbon is one of the, the most efficient and fastest ways to actually reduce our greenhouse gas emissions. So it's a solution that economists are behind. Um, we also know that there are many ways that you can design the policy and use, use the money generated um, to help address the needs of our communities. Um, and I'll also just say that there, there are people across the political spectrum that are advocating for a price on carbon, including many um, conservatives and Republicans. So it should have broad bipartisan appeal um, across, the, across the sectors. That's great. Um, something else we wanted to ask uh, that some people were curious about is 
Are there any events, we know there's an election going on, but are there any events or things coming up that you think people should know about when it comes to advocating on carbon pricing and environmental issues? Yes, so FCNL's Spring Lobby Weekend, where we're bringing 500 young people from across the country to Washington, D.C. Um, the end of March, March 28th to the 31st, is going to be focused on carbon pricing. So we're thrilled to have all of this support for this policy um, that will put a carbon price in place that, that is equitable and just. So we're really, really excited about that event. Yeah, that's a great opportunity. And, you know, if you can't make it to D.C., maybe you don't fall in this, uh, this young adults category, that's okay. Um, part of what we're trying to do with, with this Act Local page and other resources you can find at fcnl.org is empower you to act locally. Of course, if you come to D.C., be sure to come check FCNL out. We'll be happy to talk with you. But we really want to encourage you to act in your community to drive national change. Um, thanks, Emily. I think, you know, hopefully folks out there listening, they get a better sense of how they can make a difference. So thank you very much for taking the time. Yeah, and thank you all for your advocacy. Um, so really quick, we want to sum up. We know it's a brief video. We want to make sure that you can get out there and get active as soon as you're ready. We just want to review what the next steps are so you are ready to take action during our month of February. Um, first, we want you to share this video. We want to make sure that people hear Emily's answers to those questions about what, how you can convince someone who may be a little skeptical. We want to share these resources at fcnl.org backslash actlocal so that people can be empowered to act on the issues that they want. It's really important in this election year, but even when it's not an election year, to make your voice heard. So please share this video and our resources. Second, you should go to fcnl.org backslash actlocal and you should check out our instructions for finding your local offices where you can print out issues specifically behind so that you know what to get a, give a staff member at those offices. And then we have a sample script. Maybe you don't know exactly what you wanna say because you haven't done this before. We've tried to think of everything we can to make sure that you're walking in there confidently so you can advocate effectively. And why not grab a few friends, a family member, share these resources in your monthly meeting, in your worship group, and on your social media accounts. Try and bring people in. The more voices we get on these issues, the better. That's how our elected leaders know that these issues are resonating, that people are uh, activating around these issues. Um, and then after your visits, this is really important. We want to know how your visits went. FCNL's lobbyists are on the Hill every day, like Emily, mm -hmm. and what they are doing is talking to these staff members in congressional offices, and they're taking the information that you give us to make sure that they're lobbying effectively and getting the answers to the questions that you have. So please make sure to tell us how your visits go by going to fcnl.org backslash drop by. You can find that on the Act Local page. We can make progress for a better world. We're going to start in February and 2020 is a leap year. So you have one whole extra day this year to get out there and lobby during February of action. Please get out there, share our resources, and then tell us how it goes. Thanks so much for watching.